So I'm setting up this uh, Ubuntu. I've uh, put a dual boot on my Mac so I can mess about with it again. It's been a long time since I've been using it. But I've been playing about with this DD Rescue. And DD. So first of all, I'm just going to do a quick DD. Copy from one location to another. I've got loads of stuff on this one, the 16 gigabyte one. I'm going to transfer it to the 32 gigabyte one, which has got nothing on it. So let's have a go. So to do it, need to list your disks. So it's SDC. May as well put one as well for the partition. There, SDC one, the fourteen you want two SDD one of the other one. SDD one. So I'll collect this other stuff. Sometimes you have to force it, but I'll try like this first. So I'm just going to replace these. So SD C1. It's pretty slow though, this, S, this uh, DD is, but still useful. What was the other one I said? SDC. And SDD one. Well, let's draw that. Failed to open, so put sudo at the start. It's been a long time since I used Linux, so I never used to do much of this terminal work back then anyway. So I think it's working. There's a lot of activity on the Thinking it's working, but I'll come back in a minute. Wish you could get some sort of percentage radar as it was doing it. Okay, come back in a minute because it will take a little while. Right, so it's done it. I got a bit bored in the end actually, I have to turn it off. It's slow and it's probably going to try and copy the old 16 gigabytes rather than just the information it's probably faster just to scoop it up and move it to be honest but it's a useful tool especially if you're uh, trying to clone one hard disk to another so useful so let's have a look at dd rescue then I'll just stop that though because I'll get set up for it. So I've got it set up now for DD rescue, hopefully. So I think I have to turn it on first. So I know the addresses of my uh, the pathways of my hard drives. You can list this though again if you want to to find out, but don't need to on this. So I'm just going to put sudo sudo dd rescue minus r. And then 
three. That's going to try three times to get the divide to get the. It won't try three times. It's going to try three times to get 100%. But if you get 100% in the first try, it won't try again, obviously. But anyway, dev. And then you put your good drive in. That's SDC1. And then the target drive is SDD1. So I'm actually selecting drive and partition there. We can actually come back and put F because that will force it to happen. And you can also put N for no scrapes, but I'm just going to carry on with this. There's probably more to it than this, I only know the basics, I'm just learning it myself. So that should be it. So DD Rescue, force it, retry three times. And I'll press enter. You cannot. You should. You should really put a recovery log because if you're doing it properly, you need that recovery log. And when it passes over, it'll know exactly what it's not fetched, etc. In fact, I'm gonna put it on. There you go. It's going. You see the hard drives flashing, so that is one good thing about this. You can actually see things happening, not like DD. It's going to take two hours and ten minutes, it says. So obviously, I ain't going to wait for that. And it's going to recover all the data right now because it's a good drive, so I'll just recover it in the first pass. Well, that's how to do a basic recovery from a failing hard drive or one with bad sectors and things like that. Well, we'll leave it.